From the Red Sea to the Malacca Strait, India is providing security to the entire Indian Ocean region amid Chinese provocations in the high seas. You see, since 2019, China has been sending spy ships to countries near India. They call them ocean research vessels. But what they really are, are spy ships. They are aimed at keeping a close eye on Indian assets in the region. In fact, in recent days, Beijing has become more brazen, sending not one, not two, but four spy ships to the Indian Ocean. Two of these Chinese spy ships have been in the Bay of Bengal for several days now. But New Delhi is having none of it. Now, India also has deployed its own research vessel, it's called RV Samudra Ratnakar. And India's research vessel has been positioned right between the two Chinese survey ships. RV Samudra Ratnakar now stands between China's Xiang Yang Hong 01 and Xiang Yang Hong 03, located off India's eastern coast. The RV Samudra Ratnakar is a state of the art oceanographic research vessel. Who is operating it? the Geological Survey of India. It has been built by Hyundai Heavy Industries in South Korea. It is a 103 meter long ship equipped for extended missions and capable of continuous sailing for 45 days. It can accommodate up to 73 personnel, including 25 geoscientists. Now this deployment comes as Chinese military ship, the Yuan Wong 3 has been sailing in the same region. The RV Samudra Ratnakar boasts an impressive array of scientific equipment, including positioning systems, sonar systems, seismic equipment, magnetometers, gravimeters. It also comes with remotely operated vehicle, coring and sampling devices, marine data management system. You see, China's Yuan Wang class ships are believed to be used for tracking and supporting ballistic missiles. Naturally, their presence near India's strategic locations causes great concern for New Delhi. It is clear that if China was genuinely conducting research in the area, there would be no need to send such ships near Indian assets. Moreover, China's activities in the Indian Ocean have sparked serious concerns which cannot be ignored. You would know what China has been up to in Hampantota, for example. Let's also talk about China's activities in other parts of the world. In Myanmar, China is intensifying its efforts to complete the Kyok Pu port. In Bangladesh, it is increasing its involvement under the Belt and Road Initiative. In the Maldives, it is expanding an artificial island and investing heavily. In Seychelles, China is investing in strategic projects. China's ultimate goal is full control of the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. As far as the Indian Ocean region is concerned, China, despite China's expansionist dreams, Ch India has been successfully crushing its efforts. Over the weekend, the Kalvari-class Scorpion submarine reached INS Bars for an inaugural visit. It is India's last base in the eastern Indian Ocean region. Now, this is a significant milestone for the Indian forces, and here's why. INS Bars is a naval air station situated near Campbell Bay in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. It is the southernmost naval air station of the Indian Armed Forces. The Indian port overlooks the Strait of Malacca, which is a narrow sea lane that connects the Indian Ocean with the South China Sea. This lane, as you know, is strategically and economically important for Beijing. Additionally, the island of Campbell Bay is located just 145 kilometers north of Indonesia. It can control the six-degree shipping channel between Great Nicobar and the Indonesian island of Sumatra. The first ever visit by an Indian submarine of this class to this strategic port amplifies the Indian Navy's reach far away from the mainland, allowing reach and operational flexibility in rapidly sending stealth submarines in areas of interest and beyond. Not only that, India has also been expanding the runway at INS bars to help operate maritime surveillance planes. In the year 2022, the Indian Air Force's C-130J Special Operations aircraft landed at INS Bars, 
all this shows how the Indian Navy is expanding its capabilities and strengthening its position in the region, especially at a time when the Chinese have been sending their submarines to the region. India is significantly boosting its naval presence in these waters by showcasing its powerful submarine fleet. The Indian Navy also recently demonstrated its operational readiness by conducting an exercise in the Arabian Sea. It included a powerful display of eight submarines operating together. This unprecedented demonstration has shown the world the Indian Navy's exceptional underwater muscle. In fact, over the weekend, the Navy chief hailed the completion of 100 days of naval operations against anti-drone, anti-missile and anti-piracy attacks in the Gulf of Aden, Arabian Sea and the Red Sea. He affirmed that the Indian Navy will continue to, number one, take affirmative action, number two, prevent such incidents and number three, maintain India's dominant position in the region. Already, the Indian Navy has displayed this by responding to allies' calls for help in the Indian Ocean region and fulfilling India's responsibility towards maritime security and stability after an increase in the number of Houthi attacks in the Red Sea and a resurgence in piracy attempts. India has deployed at least a dozen warships to provide security to the merchant vessels. The Indian Navy chief also revealed that the Indian Navy had simultaneously deployed 11 conventional submarines for operations in different parts of the Indian Ocean region. This has been the highest number of operational submarines for the Indian Navy in the last two decades. So basically, with Beijing making no bones about its intentions to try and dominate the Indian Ocean region, India is leaving no stone unturned to challenge China's rapid expansion in the region. Sure, India's submarine fleet may not match up to China's, but that has not stopped India from becoming the region's leading security provider, something that China has not been able to do. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.